church family. I hope you all are doing well, and I would like to personally welcome you to today's Heart to Home devotional. And today's devotional is titled, No Other Doctrine. I'd like to read from 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 3 through 7. And we read in the New King James Version, As I urged you when I went to Macedonia, remain in Ephesus that you may charge some that they teach no other doctrine nor give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which cause disputes rather than godly edification, which is in faith. Now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere faith, from which some, having strayed, have turned aside to idle talk, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor things which they affirm. So a little context here, Ephesians, <clears throat> excuse me, was written by Paul in approximately 62 AD. And now Paul, from an undisclosed location, uh, is writing to Timothy in, Timothy in 63 AD. Uh, and is to instruct him on how to lead the church in Ephesus. Some of the Ephesians have rejected the importance of conscience and attempt to teach without having the required knowledge. As a result, they bicker over pointless issues and misuse the law given by God. If we take a look at today's Christian's culture, we can clearly see that this 2,000 year old scripture is much needed today, very desperately. And what do I mean by that? Well, anyone who goes on social media or gets caught in a YouTube rabbit hole, it is not that hard to find videos of pastors arguing over doctrine churches that openly allow the redefining of gender and have trans men or trans women standing at the pulpit. I will not dignify these topics with any specific names or church or church occurrences. My point is to not give them any more attention than they already have. It is because the true Christians need to respond to the calling that we all have on our lives. And that is to share the gospel message to the lost world we live in. As I said in a previous Devo, 76% of Christians, they don't even know the mission of the church, and that is to share the gospel. Let me say that again. 76% of Christians. These people are like the people of Ephesus that are spiritually guided by a person at the pulpit who preaches feelings, prosperity, once saved, always saved, worldly knowledge, life coaching, and the list goes on. Just anything but the truth. It truly saddens me to know how many Christians will perish in a lake of fire. But that's why we share these messages. It's not for me. It's for the person out there who is doubting their faith, maybe because of some falseness they witnessed in a church or on the screen. It's for the Christian out there who needs to be inspired to share the gospel message. Is that you? Well, I say we all need to do a better job for God. So I want to challenge you. This day that you hear this, I want to challenge you to share the truth with someone who God puts on your heart. Maybe pray about it and see what he tells you. Don't be afraid. Pray about it. And let the Spirit lead the conversation. Just remove yourself from it and let God work through you. Remember, our job is not to be the Spirit. It is simply to be the seed sower. So as always, it's a pleasure to bring you all today's Heart to Home devotional. And I pray that you are blessed in his message. You can check the description for today's song. Um, and also, don't forget to share all these messages once again. You know, through your social media, through liking, through sharing. Uh, through sending them the link via text, just whatever it takes. Be bold in sharing your love for Jesus to a lost world. Thanks again. I love you all, and I'll see you next time.